Well, you've made it. You've made it to the final video. Congratulations. So today we get to talk about divergence theorem. We get to celebrate the last day of class with, with one of my favorite theorems because the divergence is so easy to calculate compared even to the curl most of the time. Uh, it's, it's quite a pleasure anytime you're in a position to use a theorem like this one. So today we should be able to state the divergence theorem and use the divergence theorem to convert between surface integrals and triple integrals. So this is essentially Green's theorem in three-dimensional space. So here's the wonderful divergence theorem. And here's the setup. The idea is we have some solid 3D region. A quintessential example might be a filled-in sphere or a ball, perhaps. And then you have the boundary surface S. So if you have a, a ball E, then the surface S would be the spherical shell on the outside. That's what we mean when we refer to the boundary surface. So it would be the spherical shell just on the outside of this ball. Now suppose that the surface S has been oriented outward, as is convention. If F is a vector field whose component functions have continuous partial derivatives, so a, a decently nice vector field, then what can we do? We can take the surface integral over S of the vector field F, and we can turn it into a triple integral. We can do the triple integral over the 3D region E of the divergence of F. And those two quantities will always be equal to each other in, in, in magnitude, in size, and sign. They will always have the same value. So if you don't like one of these calculations, you can always switch to the other of these calculations and do the one that you like the most and get the same result as if you had done the original hard question. So let's consider the following example. It says, calculate the surface integral of the vector field f given by these component functions over the surface of the unit cube 0 to 1 in all directions. Now, this is not the same problem or even the same spirit of problem that we saw yesterday when we were working on Stokes' theorem. Because yesterday, when we were working on Stokes' theorem, we had removed the bottom of the cube. And because we had removed the bottom of the cube, our cube had a boundary curve. But this time, our cube has, is still completely sealed in, and there is no boundary curve here on this surface. So that means Stokes' theorem is not in play. Stokes' theorem could only be applied when the surface had a boundary curve, but this cube does not. So instead of that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use divergence theorem, which says, don't think about the line on the boundary of the surface. Think about the surface as the boundary of somebody else. For example, this cube, this cube-shaped shell, is the boundary of the three-dimensional filled-in cube of the filled cube, which goes from 0 to 1 in all directions. Let's go ahead and calculate the divergence of f. You remember how? We take the dot product of nabla with f, which amounts to taking the partial derivative with respect to x of the x component, partial with respect to y, 
the y component and partial with respect to z of the z component. All right, so as a result of taking those calculations, the first one gives me one, uh, the second gives me zero, and the third gives me three xz for the divergence of it. And so divergence theorem says, instead of calculating the original surface integral would require six for the six sides, would need six surface integrals Instead of calculating six surface integrals for every face of the unit cube, I'm going to use divergence theorem to turn the surface integral of f into the triple integral of 1 plus 3xz over the filled cube. Now because this is a cube, the limits are very easy to translate uh, from the interval endpoints that we are given for the cube. It just goes from 0 to 1 in the z direction, constant 0 to 1 in the y direction, and a constant 0 to 1 in the x direction. And so integrating with respect to z, let me separate this out, just to make it a little easier. Inner, integrating with respect to z, gives me z plus 3 halves xz squared from 0 to 1, which would be 1 plus 3 halves x. For the middle integral, We have the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 plus 3 halves x dy, which is 1 plus 3 halves x times y, evaluated from 0 to 1. Result, 1 plus 3x, 3x over 2. And then finally, the inner integral, The integral from 0 to 1 of 1 plus 3 over 2x with respect to x, we get x plus 3 over 4x squared from 0 to 1. And plugging in 1 and plugging in 0, we get 1 plus 3 fourths, we get 7 over 4. Wowee, wowee. I love divergence theorem. I love triple integrals. When you first learn triple integrals in chapter 12, they seem like a real pain, don't they? But when you come back to triple integrals after studying line integrals and surface integrals, I know I developed a new appreciation for the triple integral because we're able to skip all the work of parameterizing the object that we're dealing with finding cross products, finding dot products, and I find just the normal double and triple integrals to be so much more straightforward than surface integrals are. And that is why I love divergence theorem. Because it says, you know, that stuff that you just learned in chapter 13, that's fine. But if you're lucky, you can get rid of that and you can turn it back into a chapter 12 problem. And you don't need to parameterize anything. You can just do some partial integration and then the problem's over, right? So, wonderful theorem, and that is the end of the course. That's the last required content for the course. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything, or you want any additional resources on extensions of material like this, if you're thinking about being a math major, if you're interested in stuff like real analysis, which are even more extensions of this to functions of four or five or n variables, just let me know. There are some pretty famous real analysis books out there and resources that I can direct you to. All right, have fun, enjoy your exams, and enjoy your winter break.